Miss Dr. Hollies, please read to me break. It's Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday because I read on, on Wednesdays. Um, thank you all for joining me today. Um, people have been asking me to read on Mondays as well. So it's like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing. So I'm going to try to read on Monday, but it's going to be like a pop-up read because it's hard enough to like at 6 o'clock stop everything and read. So I don't want to add like a Monday to the mix, but I mean the schedule to the mix, but Monday. So um, a couple of quick housekeeping things before we start reading. Thanks for coming to the classroom. Um, I'm teaching a creative, I'm facilitating a, a, creative, a, a creative writing class at the Inner Work Center on Sunday. So register at the Inner Work Center for my class, So Good, Soul Good, um, Creative Writing. Um, the Muddy Ballerinas book is in the works to be printed. Um, there's a little glitch with like the bleed or something, but um, here is like a, a um, you know, a paper copy of it. But we're I'm trying to like get it done. These are the three girls. Let me see a better picture. Here are the three girls that are featured in the book. Um, and the neat thing about it is that I have a picture of the girls. They're all 20 now. Um, I have a picture of them at the at the very end of the book. So that'll be neat. So I'm just like. This is an uphill thing, like learning curve, trying to figure out the printing process, but we're working on it. And um, the B book is still in the works, so I out for the B book. And then I have a turtle book that I have been working on since like, I don't know, 2011, based on research I did in Mexico, so I'm working on that too. Um, so today we're gonna read Diary of the Worm by Doreen Cronin. Um, Hey, Janice's daughter. I'm glad to see you. Thank y'all for being so supportive of everything. I'm going to read Diary of the Worm. Um, again, the picture will be flipped around when it gets on YouTube. I have so many Doreen Cronin books. I mean, I like love her. But my favorite book, Click Clack Mood, Cows at Type, I cannot find that book. So I'm like running crazy trying to find that book. So hopefully we'll be able to read that soon. So I'm going to read Diary of a Worm. I went in my garden quite a bit. So I see a lot of worms. So this is apropos. Take the cover off. Thank y'all for I'm um, listening. Diary of the Worm. Um, if you're coming by the classroom, just come on in and say hello. Um, I'll come back and read that because those illustrations are hilarious. This is a funny, funny book. It's hilarious, at least to me. Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Harry Bliss. I like to read the um, dedications for the boys, Ken, Sean, Ryan, Patrick, and Timothy, for Razi and Cheetah. So the author and the illustrator have their dedications. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. One, the earth gives us everything we need. Two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnel, keep earth, help earth breathe. Never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. <laughs> oh my God, this book is hilarious. March 29th. Today I try to teach Spider how to dig. Big question mark. His little bum bum is in the air. First of all, his legs got stuck. I think I twisted one of my ankles. Then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. I give up. Tomorrow he's gonna teach me how to walk upside down. March 30th. Worms cannot walk upside down. <laughs> this book trips me out. Look at him like dangling over the, the little uh, town. There's a little, little ladybug there. She's gonna come back later. April 4th, fishing season started today. We all dug a little bit deeper. Did you guys hear something? There's a bait um, barrel there. And then grandpa is like chilling on his leaf in the hole. April 10th, it rained all night and the ground was soaked. We spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. 
when we have worms that come up on the sidewalk at work, I try to like step around them. So I'm always like, cause you know, who wants to step on a worm? Worms gotta live. April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. So I got so hungry that I ate all my homework. That is so funny to me. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework 10 times. When I was finished, I ate that too. So learn a little bit more about worms if you're wondering why the worm is eating the homework. April 20th, I stuck up on some, this is so funny. I stuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right up between them and they screamed. <laughs> I love when they do that. <laughs> Look at his face or her face. <laughs> May 1st. Grandpa taught us that good, taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said, good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. Hey, Loris, Suzanne, hey. There were 600 more of them in line. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you doing? Good morning, nice to see ya. Howdy, good morning. And in the South we say, hey y'all. I stood there all day. <laughs> oh my goodness. May 8th, do y'all write in your journals? Cause this is like a neat book about writing in journals too. May 8th, had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. Oh my goodness. This is a very clever book. May 15th. I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me, you need legs to be cool. Then he ran. I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th. I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? Oh man, G has a little arrow cap on. <laughs> May 28th. Last night I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out, you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. Uh, that's all we could do. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's good to have a little levity, right? Because we've had a lot going on in the world. June 5th. Today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I'm going to read this part. Put head in macaroni. Number two, wiggle. Three, squirm. Four, stretch. I don't know why I think it's so, so funny. Oh, they're telling him, you are so talented. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how, how much she spends, how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear ends. Oh my gosh. Spider thought that was really funny. The spider is like cracking up. Mom did not. <laughs> July 4th. When I grow up, I want to be a secret service agent. Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but somebody's got to do it.
July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. Number one, I can't chew gum. <laughs> Number two, I can't have a dog. Can we keep her mom? Look at the dog. Number three, all that homework. Here's a book called Digging a History, Soil Through the Ages, My Casting Journal, Nights Cleaner, Night Crawlers, Compost 101. When I find wayward, wayward worms, I like to pick them up and take them to my compost bin. <laughs> They're like, what in the world is happening? July 29th. Three good things I like about being a worm. I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities, no teeth either. <laughs> funny. Number two. I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. Three. I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? <laughs> August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small and sometimes people forget that we're even here. He's like got a little letter, a globe, his little bed, Lipton tea box. But like mom always says, the earth never forgets that we're here. I'm gonna read some of these little, I love this book. I just love Doreen Cronin anyway. She's hilarious to me. Mom and dad's anniversary, gross. I found this really cool rock. Isn't this leaf awesome? It's like funny. Bee stung me. <laughs> my own comic super worm peace in the garden suddenly help us super worm holy compost someone is in trouble moments later pow the hero of the garden my sister's slumber party <laughs> my favorite pile of dirt and in the front. My report card. Tunnel A, dirt B plus, gym B plus, art A, history B minus, compost pass, squirming pass. Comments, works well with others and shows great interest in all subjects. Needs to resist eating homework. Hey, Ashley. It's my sister's on. First day of school. They're all like, Rah! Baby picture of me and dad. Me and Spider. I haven't read There's a Hair in My Dirt by Gary Larson. Gary Larson is hilarious. I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna find that, Dana, thanks. My first tunnel. The Family Vacation to Compost Island. I love this book so much. And like I said, I love all of Doreen Cronin's books. Um, she's the author of two New York self, self, two New York Times best-selling picture books, Click Clack Moo Cows at Type, which is a favorite of mine, um, and then the Giggle Giggle Quack, which um, I thought I had here, but I don't have here. Um, Harry Bliss is an award-winning cartoonist and a cat cover artist for the New Yorker magazine. Um, he so this is a this is a beautiful, not a beautiful book. It is a beautiful book, but it's like a hilarious book, <sighs> and we need some levity right about now so thank y'all for um reading you are so welcome janice hello bonnie your mint is waiting whenever you can come up this way um i'm gonna read up like do a pop-up on monday read but i'm also gonna read a book on friday i think i'm gonna read one of these other doreen cronin books to like round out the week um pop up on monday the muddy ballerine the muddy baller let me just stop and just take a breath for us Oh, Nathan said he read the book before he likes it. I'm so glad. Olivia's on. Um, so the Muddy, ba Muddy Ballerina's book is like, I'm trying to get it printed, but like the bleed is off. So the illustrator is working on that. So I'm going to get those to y'all as soon as possible. And I have a couple other books up my sleeve. Um, I'm teaching class at the Inner Work Center, a writing, creative writing class on Sunday. So sign up at the Inner Work Center and join me on Zoom. Peace, everyone.
everybody thank y'all for coming to the classroom it's really like the highlight of my day to just see y'all here and just enjoy a good book so peace out i'll be back on friday i may be reading like inside the car while danielle's driving er, oh no it was park inside the road um but i'll be back on friday at six peace y'all love y'all thank you